this is a traditional Scottish porridge stirring stick. Uh, made for, it's been going for years and years and years and that. The way I'm making it, on the top here, that gets done green, that does purple to represent the Scotch thistle. That's the blank that we start off with. That's a piece of um, black heart sassafras. And we'll uh, put that on and uh, give it a run. That's that demented camera, mate. <laughs> Using the roughing gouge, we take all the um, rough corners off down to a round. I always put my face saver on. Parting tool and the gauge. Come back to the roughing gouge, which will take a lot of material off very quickly. Now we come to the pencil gauge. It rests on the tool rest, just where we want it, and it's a matter of we put it in the mark, mark. That shows all the uh, points: the end, high point, the bead, high point, the bead, and then the, the thistle on the top. We mark the bottom end of it. We don't go too far in. Because if we do, we're going to lose lose our strength. Round that off. Oh, that's got to be slightly tapered down. Come up to the bead. V cut, widening cut, and again. Roll the bead. Now this one tape this tapers back to the bottom of the bead. For a reminder, you can go back to your pencil gauge to make sure you're getting the right place, the right cuts in the right place. Refer back to my picture for the um, the shape of the thistle. First we Finish off the handle. Here comes the boring part, which is the sanding. This is some black heart sassafras, grows in Tasmania in the, in the uh, very wet areas. Beautiful timber to use. This is 180 grit that I'm using. A real medium sized uh, grit. grit.
go down to 240, it's much finer. We have a look at it. Still a bit of mark there. If we don't get all those marks out before we put a finish on, it really magnifies it. I keep saying it stands out like the taillight in a bus on a dark night. Yeah, for some finish, <coughs> I'm using a uh, product that's made by one of the members of the Western Sydney Wood Turners. He calls it a triple P. It's a, it's a uh, wax with a little bit of an abrasive in it. Then we go over it with a, uh, a, a friction polish then. I didn't know. I didn't know. I couldn't make it myself. You could have your ass of it. This works like a grain filler and sealer. And the heat generated from the rotation of the piece helps to uh, soak it into the timber. Come over with a clean piece of cloth. Come onto a friction polish. It's a um, shellac based polish with uh, some um, essential oils, all secret formulas. People that make it will never tell you what it is. All that's left now is to part it off. It's a matter of cleaning these off. And there we have it. Rather similar to the other one. So um, that's uh, making a spurtle.